Hello, my name is Mindy Taylor and I am an accredited genealogist professional specializing in the England region. And in this video, I will be giving a brief overview of the testing regions, levels, fees, scheduling, and specialties as they pertain to the AG credential through the International Commission for the Accreditation of Professional Genealogists, also known as ICAP-GEN. ICAP-GEN currently provides testing services for many countries of the world, as well as regions in the U.S. and Canada. Region-specific testing enables ICAP-GEN to assess an applicant's knowledge of the key records, history, geography, methodologies, and language of the region of interest. So check the ICAP-GEN website for current testing regions. The accreditation process involves three levels of testing. Separate fees apply to each level. Level 1 is an application and four generation project. Level 2 is an exam. Level 3 is an exam and an oral review. Now I'd like to go over the application steps for Level 1. And just a note before we dive in, all of the items that we will be discussing can be found online at the iCAPGen website. Okay, the first step would be to read the guide to applying for an accredited genealogist credential. This guide goes over all of the iCAPGen requirements and guidelines for the accreditation process. It also is very helpful as a document to refer back to if you have questions as you're preparing your fourth generation project or if you're studying for exams. Second, you need to download, review, and become familiar with the regional resource document for your region of interest. It can be found under the Becoming Accredited tab on the website. In this document, you will find a list of important records for your region. You, um, sh you should have experience finding these records as well as knowledge about the dates they cover and what information they typically contain and why they were created. Okay, third, take the Accreditation Readiness Assessment. This will help you self-assess whether your level of experience meets the minimum requirements to apply for accreditation and it should be taken before you pay your level one fees. Fourth, go through the four generation project self-assessment. It's based on the rubric used to rate the four generation project and it will help you evaluate the readiness of your own project. Fifth, fill out the contact information form and pay the fees. The contact information form is used to gather information needed to process fees and assess an application number. Once the contact information form is submitted, you will receive an email with instructions on how to submit your four generation project electronically. So sixth is submit your four generation project. The four generation project includes a pedigree chart showing only the four generations um, researched, family group sheets, there should be at least four, one for each family in the four generations, but if there is more, um, like multiple spouses or more than one family in your project, then those should be included as well. You need to include a research log, your research report, and then key documents showing the linkage between generations. Level 1 status is attained after successful completion of the accredited, accreditation readiness assessment, attaining 90% or above on the four generation project. The level two exam includes two sections that are two hours each. The two sections are document interpretation and general questions. Document interpretation is designed to test the candidate's knowledge of certain documents from their region and their skills in working with those documents. General questions is designed to test the candidate's knowledge of resources, record types, and strategies used to research in their region. So document interpretation tests your ability to identify, analyze, transcribe, abstract, and plan research using clues from documents. There will be questions on expected content and internet sources on both sections of the level two exam. And regions where the primary language is something other than English will have a translation requirement as well. In many regions, including the US and Canada, candidates must demonstrate skill in a foreign language. So check the ICAPGEN website for the current language requirements in your region of interest. 
Some document interpretation examples would be, what is the document, its content, and where would you find it? Location of a record could be either on-site repository or an online website in that case. Um, what clues can be found in a document and what sources would you search next? And also your ability to use documents to compile a family group sheet. All right, general questions. Test your knowledge um, of history, geography, methodology, internet sources, and records specific to your region. Some examples of questions that you might see names of important websites and how they're useful to genealogical research in your region, research planning questions including story problems, pedigrees, or family group sheets, the process that you would use to find a document, why certain dates are historically important, and what you would expect to find in certain records. Level 2 status is achieved by attaining a score of 90 or above on the level 2 exam. The level 3 is an exam that is 4 hours long and it's basically a final project designed to test the candidate's skills in data analysis, research planning, methodology, and report writing. So level 3 concludes with an oral review which is scheduled after attaining a score of 90 or above on the exam. The final project is kind of like a mini four generation project. At the end of your test, you will turn in a pedigree chart, family group sheet, research log, research report, and documents. Once you have passed the level three exam with 90 or above, you'll be scheduled for an oral review. The oral review is an interview where accredited genealogist professions in the region of your interest will ask questions to determine the candidate's overall readiness for accreditation. All exams and the oral review are open book and open internet. An AJ status is achieved by attaining a score of 90% or above on the level three exam and successful completion of the oral review. Candidates Receive a congratulatory letter and recognition on the ICAPGen website for each level successfully completed. Candidates who successfully pass all three levels are recognized as accredited genealogist professionals. Fees. Fees can be paid online at the ICAPGen website and you need to check the website for current testing fee amounts. All fee payments are good for one calendar year. Applicants have one year to submit their four generation project after paying the level one fee and level two and level three candidates should pay their fees about two weeks before taking their exam. The full fee is required to retest any failed level. After three failed attempts, a 12 month waiting period is required. And at any level, if a project is assigned in lieu of retesting, an additional $20 fee is required. Candidates who do not apply for the level two or level three exam within three years of passing their current level must retake the current level exam and pay the applicable fee before proceeding. Scheduling. Check the ICAPGen website for the current testing schedule. And off-site testing will be scheduled on an individual basis. Oral reviews will be done via a video chat service in this situation. And custom on-site testing is available for special circumstances. If you are interested in research specialties, ICAPGen offers two. They have an African American and a Luxembourg specialty. You need to indicate a desire to test for a specialty when you apply. Your four generation project must reflect experience in the specialty and an additional four hour exam will be required. Current AG professionals will need to turn in a three generation project and complete the four hour exam. Accredited genealogists renew their credentials every five years to assure that they are keeping current with available sources and research techniques. 
a renewal must be performed on each credential awarded. And that brings us to the end of our overview of the testing regions, levels, fees, scheduling, and specialties. I wish you the very best as you begin your accreditation journey. Thanks for watching.